knowing Mary. What a privilege it is to be able to talk to you about Mary. Mary, whom I love so much. I love Mary for many reasons, and one of the reasons is that she loves Jesus so much. You see, very often we have a misconception about who Mary is and the role of Mary in our lives. Now, in this short discussion, this small talk, I'm not going to talk about why we pray to Mary and the role of Mary necessarily in our lives, but sometimes we have misconceptions of who Mary is and the role she plays in our life because we think of Mary as someone who's placid, someone who's quiet, someone who doesn't have the power we think she has. And I just want through three simple points to explain to you the power of Mary. Not only the power of Mary, the influence of Mary, and why we, like Jesus, should love Mary. Let's talk about Mary. Number one, Mary loved Jesus like nobody loved Jesus. Nobody loved Jesus more than Mary. This is the scope of our life. At the end of the day, always to love Jesus with all of our hearts, our minds, bodies and souls. And no one understood the heart of Jesus like Mary did. You see, Mary was the first person to comfort and console Jesus when he cried when he was a baby. She was the first to wipe the grazes from his knees. She was the first to change his nappies, his diapers. She was the one who loved him even when the world didn't even know him. And this is the way I want. I want to know Mary. I want to know Jesus just like Mary does. And I want to know Mary simply because she knows and loves Jesus so much. Mary, one thing about her always is that she knew Jesus perfectly, but also she always pointed to Jesus. Never for one moment did she ever point to herself. I don't know if you've ever seen a wine glass, for example. Some people um, drink wine and sometimes there are these beautiful glasses that we drink wine from. And we see these glasses and say this was a beautiful, lovely crystal glass. And when you look at the glass by itself, it, it draws attention to itself because it looks beautiful, it looks lovely. But just take this wine glass and, 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 and fill it with wine and all of a sudden the attention, say this was full of wine, is no longer on the glass but on the wine itself. It just becomes a container, a tabernacle, a vessel carrying something that becomes so precious that the container becomes invisible, becomes transparent. This is the role of Mary. She never points to herself, but always points to Jesus, points us to Jesus. This is one thing I absolutely love about Mary. That's number one. The second thing I love about Mary is that she is a warrior. She is a fighter. Very often we think of Mary as someone who's holding her hands together and resting her head to the side and everything's nice and everything's beautiful. But Mary is a warrior because Mary is a mama. Mary will do whatever it takes to protect her child as a mother would do whatever it takes to protect her child. I think about my past when as a teenager I was an addict and I was locked in my room and I was depressed and I was upset and I was being tormented and torn to pieces by the devil. But you know what? The world had given up on me, but my mama, she never did. She started to pray for me and she started to pray so hard for me that even when I was getting worse, she didn't slow down, she continued. She prayed spiritual warfare and she would do anything to make sure that I was being prayed for. She'd go to uncles and aunties and cousins and she'd gather them together in prayer meetings to pray for me. She'd go and she'd call all the priests she knew to pray for me because she knew that prayer was powerful. She knew at the end of the day that all I needed was Jesus. I stand here today because my mom was not just in a corner praying. She went to war. She went to war for my soul. 
This is what Mary does for us. The book of Revelation says that she presses, she crushes the skull of Satan. That is not for a gentle woman. That is for a warrior woman, someone who has the courage to step on the serpent. The one who will step on the serpent, not because she wants to see something die, but simply because she wants to protect us at every cost. So this is why we need to start turning to Mary to ask for the protection from the devil because she is there as a warrior woman. She will fight. She will fight because she is our mother. We cannot sell Mary short. Don't think of her as something placid and gentle. She is someone who's strong, someone we can turn to, someone we know that even the moments we cannot pray, the moments we feel we cannot even turn to Jesus because we don't feel we deserve it or we don't know how to approach Jesus. Ask Mary to carry you there. She will take you there. She's your intercessor. She's the one who always will carry you, not to herself, but to Jesus. But she will do whatever it takes when we turn to her to bring us to her son, Jesus. Now, the third thing about Mary is that she is an intercessor. She's someone who prays for us. I live in Australia, but every now and then I go to Malta. And when people find out that I go to Malta, when I go to visit my family in Malta, where my mom and my dad, brothers and sisters are, I get telephone calls and emails telling me, Father Rob, can you come and speak here? Can you come and sing here? Can you come and give us this talk? Can you do this for us? And the list goes on and on and on. And I have to just say no. No, no, because I need to spend time with my family. And they try and they try everything. And Maltese people are very persistent. They stop at nothing. They don't take no for an answer. And so they keep calling, they keep pestering so that I can go and give them these talks and go and minister to them, which is a good thing, but so is rest. And so I say, no, I will not. I will not go anywhere but be with my family. But they know, they know my Achilles heel. They know my weakness. So they realize they're not getting anywhere by coming to me and asking me to give talks. So what do they do? <laughs> they call my mama. They say, hey, can you ask your son to come and talk to us? And my mom is very, like, she, maybe she's more compassionate than I am. Okay, and she goes and she says, okay, I will see what I can do. And so they tried everything. They sent me 10 emails, they telephone calls, they tried to get me to speak and I've said, no, 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 but guess what? My mama calls and she says, Rob, can you please give these people a talk? And what do you think I'm going to do? Immediately I'm going to say, yes, mom, I'll do it for you. I'll do it because you think I should do it. Now, this is the beautiful thing about Mary and Jesus. You see, when we go to Mary as our intercessor, She's the one that always carries us to Jesus. Not that Jesus doesn't want to hear our prayer, but you see, Mary is there standing with us, asking, petitioning to Jesus for our needs. And she knows, she filters through what we need and what we want, and she brings that to Jesus and allows us to receive the graces that Jesus wants to give us. She even teaches us how to receive that grace and how to always, in the graces we receive, to point back to Jesus. This is the beautiful gift we have in, mother, in our mother Mary. Mary who is our warrior. Mary who always points to Jesus and Mary who is our intercessor. She loves us and she always, always wants to point us to Jesus. I pray that you may fall in love with Jesus through Mary. I pray also that you may understand how much Mary loves you and wants you to be carried to Jesus. She is not God. She always points to God, but she's an extra gift that God has given us for petition, for intercession. And so let's pray together. Let's pray. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to leave you with a special gift. At the end of this, we're going to play a song, a music video. This is a song of myself with my, with my mama. 
And this is a song which we sing together and praying to God together. You'll see in the way I look and the way she looks. That's my warrior mama praying also as she's singing the song, praying for me. Let's turn to Mary as we do to our mother, trusting that she always wants the best for us and to draw us close to Jesus. Arrows fly ten thousand fold. Still, you protect me through it all. The waters rise, the oceans rage. Still, you're the one. Storms obey In the shelter of your presence In the shadow of your wings I am safe I am safe I will hold on to your promise You will not abandon me I am safe I am safe To you I run When mountains shake You are my shield My hiding place Almighty God I will draw Perfect love Cuts out all fear In the shelter of your presence In the shadow of your wings I am safe I am safe I will hold on to your promise You will not There's nothing left to fear There's nothing left to fear There's nothing left to fear Shelter of your presence In the shadow of your wings I am safe I am safe I will hold on to your promise You will not abandon me I am safe I am safe Hey